Hi everyone, we have a super exciting tutorial for you guys today. So I'm going to show you how to connect the Glambot app to this Dobot Nova 5 robot arm. This is a stand from glambotrobot.com and we have a Zcam E2 M4 here. This is an iPad 12.9 inch and this is a USB hub with an HDMI port and an Ethernet port. We have a router here and we have a sharing box from the Glambot app here. So let's go. First of all, the hardware. Let's open this glambotrobot.com side. It uses magnets so you can easily take it off and put it back. So here's what's inside. This is the power block. This is the control box. And this wire from the power block goes to this plug and this will power this control box. Here we have two plugs that go to the robot arm or they come from the robot arm. Here is an emergency button that you have to connect otherwise it will not work. And here is a Wi-Fi stick. When you work with this robot you need to connect to it using Wi-Fi when you want to configure it. We connect to this box later with Ethernet cable. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to connect to the Wi-Fi of the Dobot arm. So I'm going to go to the settings on my iPad and I'm going to look for a Wi-Fi network that mentions Dobot. I'm going to tap on it and you can find the password in the manual and our password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Going to tap join and we are connected to the Wi-Fi. So now we are going to go to the CR Studio app. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to connect to the robot arm by tapping on connect, which is the green button that you can find on top of the app. Going to press it and it's connected. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the IP address. This is only a thing you have to do once. Now we will go to the settings. So I tap on the setting icon and I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to tap on software setting. So we are going to change the IP address to 192.168.0. 110. So 110. Enter. Now I tap on confirm on the bottom of the screen and it says save success. So now I tap on disconnect, confirm, and that's it. So now we need to reboot the box. So I'm going to unplug the power and I'm going to plug it in. And after that, we're good to go to connect from the Glambot app. Make sure to connect the LAN cable to LAN port 1 to make it work. So we have a router here and you can basically use almost any router here. Uh, please don't use travel routers for example because they do not allow access to a local network. But this router does and we're going to plug in the cable from the Dobot control box. There you go. So now we connect the USB hub to the iPad and the USB hub has an ethernet connector. So let me plug in my ethernet cable. Plug it in. So I'm going to plug in the cable here. And let me explain a little bit about what we use here, which ports we use. Do not use the VAN connector use the ports with another color. Make sure you download the Glambot app and when you download it make sure you purchase a license on glambot.app. When you're in the Glambot app tap on the menu icon in the lower left hand corner go to robotic arm setup and then in the upper right hand corner you go to Dobot and you enable the use of the robotic arm and now we are going to tap on initialize robot. 
and then OK. This is going to connect you to the robot. Whenever the robot is ready, you will hear a click. There we go. So it's connected. And now we can set it to the start position. So I tap on video start position. And the robot will move into place. You can choose multiple movement presets. So currently I have two selected, which is called the Glambot. But you can choose fly, Glambot, close up, low key. We're going to use Glambot for now. Tap done. Because we are recording with a landscape template and the camera is in landscape mode, we also need to change the TV into the horizontal mode. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to plug in an HDMI cable and plug in the HDMI cable in the TV. Tap on TV mirror and tap on show session on TV. You can also show a slideshow on your TV. It will prompt you to download some resources, which I already downloaded. If you want to download the resources, unplug this USB hub, connect to your Wi-Fi and download the resources and plug this USB hub back in. Currently, the vertical TV option is enabled. You can use this when you use your TV in portrait mode. Currently, we want to use it in landscape mode, so I'm going to disable vertical. TV. So now I go back to the main screen and it will show the beautiful start screen. So this is the ZCAM E2 M4 and this is a 1442 lens and I recommend specifically this lens. This is a Lumix Qi lens. I will link to it in the description of the video. And this is a battery that will last you for at least 10 hours straight. So I will link to this battery in the description as well. So we need to set the ZCAM to use a router. The way you do that is you press on the menu button and then with the arrows up and down you can go to connect and now you press on OK. Then you press on network, you press on OK, and now you move down to Ethernet mode. You press on OK again, you press the arrow up to select the router, and then press OK. And then press menu multiple times to go back to the main screen. So this is a mount from GlambotRobot.com. You can purchase it there. And the great thing of the ZCAM is that you can mount it vertically and you can mount it horizontally because it has mounting points all over the place. On all sides of the camera you can find mounting points. Today we're going to mount the camera sideways. So I'm going to use this screw. And now we get an Ethernet cable and we plug in an Ethernet cable. That's it. Make sure it's secure. And turn on the ZCAM by pressing on the button on the side like we did before. And we are going to plug in this cable into the router as well. So I'm going to show you how to set up the ZCAM and how to set up the zoom and focus features for the ZCAM. First, we need to connect the ZCAM. Let's tap yes and let's tap yes on live view because I want to see live view. Now I tap on settings and you can set all the settings here. I set the camera to 240 frames per second, which will allow me to slow down the video eight times. And all the other settings are correct. I'm going to go to the zoom and focus settings now because we want to make sure that the video is in focus all the time. Because when the robot uh, starts, it's going to be at a different distance from the subject as when the robot ends. 
So we need to make sure that at both spots it will be in focus. And you can also add a really neat special effect, which is a zoom in effect. And first, this screen will allow us to set the zoom for when the robot starts. And the great thing is that of this system is that it's optical zoom, so you don't lose quality. If you zoom in digitally, you will lose the quality. Maybe a little bit more zoomed in. Perfect. Don't look for the focus yet, because in the next screen, you can set the focus. But there's one more thing that we need to do. We need to make sure that the robot is in the start position. So I'm going to tap on move robot to start position. And now I'm going to adjust the zoom a little bit. Let's zoom out. Perfect. And now I tap on next to set the focus for that starting point. Okay, let's press minus. And you can see it comes in focus. I think this is perfect. Let's tap next. So you can add a special effect by zooming in during the robot movement. And start zoom time is when it starts zooming in. At the moment, it will record at three seconds. And then at 2.4 seconds in the recording, it will start zooming in. OK? I like that, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to tab next. And this is where it zooms towards. So I'm going to set the robot to the end position now. Tap on the button, and the robot will move to position. And I'm going to zoom it in a little bit more. And now I press next. And now I'm going to set the focus. OK, now the focus is on 14% and it's in focus. Let's tap Finish. I press on Clip Composition. And this is a very interesting part of the app because you can get creative here. You can use the recorded clip multiple times. You can slow them down. You, you can, can speed the clips up. You can use parts of the clips. So currently, we are using this clip in normal speed for the full duration, for the full three recording seconds. But we want to make it more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this first clip to fast motion. So this means that it's going to play twice the normal speed. And I'm going to set it to boomerang, which basically uh, flips it, plays it the other way around. So I'm going to add an extra clip here. Press on Add a Clip. Press on Z Cam. And this will add another clip. Basically the same clip, but another time. And what we're going to do now is interesting, because we are going to slow this down. So I'm going to reduce the duration. So I'm going to set it to use 1.9 seconds of the three recorded seconds. And I'm going to set the speed to slow motion eight times. This is proper slow motion. It really slows it down, makes it interesting. I'm going to add a third clip, because we can. And I'm going to make sure that that continues at 1.9 second in the video at normal speed. OK? OK, here we go. I'm going to tap the button. Three, two, one, let's go. And continue. Yes, perfect. Awesome. That's it.